Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a uh, helmet, which is one of the barbarian-only helmets, uh, known as Halibird's Crane, which is a conqueror's crown. The uh, Halibird's Reign is an interesting one, and it's very analogous to the Dark Force Spawn Skull for the Necromancer, um, in that all of the skills can roll, uh, which does make sometimes this a very poor helmet. Uh, let's go over it together and let's talk about it, shall we? So Halibird's Reign is a Conqueror's Crown. It has 432 defense. It can be as low as 384. Uh, it does have a variable. Uh, it is a relatively high strength requirement at 174, and uh, that does actually put a damper on its usefulness. Um, now, for most barbarians, 174 strength is not that big of a deal, but if you are a low-strength barbarian, maybe you're an a item-fine barbarian or something like that, uh, this could potentially be a downside. Uh, we also have a level requirement of level 77, which goes to show you that this is a relatively high-level piece of equipment, and it is already elite, which means we can't upgrade it. Um, it has pretty nice stats here. We have a plus one masteries, which is static. It's always plus one. Uh, we have plus two barbarian skills, which is also static. It's always plus two. And then we also have uh, plus 20% faster hit recovery, which is always nice to have on a melee class. Uh, plus two to battle commands, which does vary from one to two. And we also have plus two to battle orders, which varies from one to two. Um, we have a 170% enhanced defense, which varies between 140 to 170%, and then a pretty massive replenished life, which varies between 15 to 23. Um, and that means that it's, you're going to have your life regenerating on a regular basis. Uh, the ethereal version also has pretty nice stats as well. As you can see, a pretty nice bump in defense there from uh, 432 to 648. And, uh, and of course, it has slightly lower strength requirement at 164. Um, the ethereal version, of course, could be very useful for a uh, barb mercenary. However, do keep in mind that uh, barbarian, or sorry, mercenaries in general are regeneration neutral, which means they cannot have any negative and they cannot have any positive regeneration in either direction. Um, their natural regeneration is a different form of regeneration um, than, than actually like replenish life or uh, drain life. And um, quite honestly, this helmet is an interesting one. And when it does roll with only plus one battle command and only plus one battle orders, it's not as good. Uh, but with plus two barb skills and plus two battle command, you're looking at a plus four BO and plus four BC helmet, which is definitely very nice. Um, you could, of course, find a plus five Battle Orders Helmet, if you manage to find a 3-3 and then put something like um, Delirium in it, specifically for that purpose. But um, not really 100% sure that you would want to go through the process of uh, of making a Delirium. I mean, it might be a waste of an Ist rune, plus you got to swap your helmet in and out. This seems like more of a helmet that you would actually just keep on on a regular basis. Um, all in all, though, when you compare it against some of the other options, like, for instance, the Ariot's Face or the Demon Horn's Edge, um, it kind of is an odd one. Um, you can see Demon's Horn's Edge has three War Cries, three Masteries, three Combat Skills, so it's technically plus three to all. Uh, you also have the Ariot's Face, which is plus two and plus two combat skills, which is basically four to combat and two to all. And this, of course, has lifesteal, regeneration, I mean, uh, uh, all resistances, strength, dex. And uh, when you compare all these helmets side by side, it's kind of hard to choose exactly which one you want because you're looking at a very specific purpose, right? Um, Ariot's Face is your great all-arounder. It's your helmet that kind of does everything, but it's not really necessarily the best at anything. Um, your Halibird's Reign Conqueror's Crown seems to be more focused around a BO helmet, which is kind of an interesting thing. And then, of course, you got your Demon's Horns uh, Edge Destroyer Helm, which is literally a plus three helmet, but we're going to go over that in another video. Now, um, this helmet might be a little bit difficult to find uh, because the Conqueror's Crown does tend to be, um, what's the term? A little bit, uh, a little bit skittish. Uh, let me go ahead and pull this up on Silo's pen real quick, and let's look at the drop chance for this, because I have a feeling this is going to be um, a somewhat of an interesting one, uh, mainly because I don't think the helmet actually has a lot of places that it can drop. 
All right, so here we are over on uh, Drop Calc, and uh, so this is Silo's pen. And uh, as you can see, Halibird's Rain, uh, let's do 400% magic finds since this is a high level item. And uh, look at our look at our massive list of possible options, um, and especially if you consider the fact that these are quest drops right here, we have a total of three monsters in the entire game that can drop this item that are considered to be bosses. So we literally have Bale, Diablo, and Neolithak, and the chances probabilities are not really even that great at 2,143 and 3,043. Uh, super uniques are going to be equally as scarce, as you can see here. Not a lot of good super uniques. Uh, we've got Neolithak, which was already on the other list, so we got to take him off. Uh, no Frozenstein, uh, Pendle Skin at 1 in 22,000, Snap Chip Chatter, Bone Saw Breaker. A lot of these are pretty hard to get to. Cold Worm the Burrower he's, and Maggot Layer Level 3, pretty hard to get to. Uh, Grand Visor of Chaos, Infector of Souls, and Lord Deceased can drop it, but at a really terrible rate of 1 in 34,448. And then uh, Festo the Armor, Ogmel the Cursed. A lot of these guys are just absolutely god-awful chances, and it just gets worse from there. Um, really, honestly, if you're trying to find this item, it does indeed look like uh, Halibird's Reign. Your best spot is going to be... Hell Diablo, honestly. I feel like Hell Diablo is probably your best farming bet, uh, mainly because Bale is a much slower kill. Despite the fact he has a higher drop rate, he's a much slower kill just in general, and it's going to take you a lot longer to kill Bale than it will for you to kill Diablo. So who all could get good use out of this? Obviously, it's strictly for Barbarians, and it seems to be rather strictly for a character who is building BO and Battle Command. Um, technically, it would give you BO and Battle Command, even if you didn't otherwise normally have any points into it, but most Barbarians tend to build Battle Orders, Battle Command, and Shout specifically for those reasons. Um, the other thing is, is that uh, although Battle Orders Plus is certainly nice for the duration increase, it doesn't really give you um, that much in terms of like usefulness. Um, Duration is really the only thing that goes up with Battle Command, because it's a plus to skills, whereas Battle Orders is definitely a nice one to have as a really high plus to skill. Just simply because Battle Orders is a plus life and, ma and mana, uh, whereas Battle Command is simply plus to skills, and it doesn't it doesn't go up with level. Uh, so your main reason why you would beef up Battle Command, or you would want Battle Command on your helmet, is of course to increase the duration of it, uh, which is certainly very nice to, to make it uh, longer. Now the duration doesn't matter for you, but it does matter when you're giving it to somebody else. And that's kind of the, the real stickler there. Um, all in all, though, I don't think that this helmet is the most amazing helmet in the game. Um, it doesn't have any all resistances. It doesn't have any increased attack speed. Uh, it doesn't have any crushing blow. It doesn't have any open wounds. It doesn't have any deadly strike. It doesn't have, honestly, anything that I would like to have on a helmet as a melee character. In fact, in many ways, um, despite the fact that it has some nice plus to skills on it, I think I'd rather be wearing a G-Face. Um, either that or Ariat's face, which is definitely a, uh, a very nice helmet. It's not necessarily the best helmet for a barbarian, but it definitely is a very nice one at that. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when we're talking about a very rare and very odd helmet known as uh, Halibird's Rain. I hope I've given you a little bit of insight on the item, uh, perhaps what specifically um, you could utilize this for. And, uh, and as always, keep watching.